The hunt. <laughs> Yelping hounds packed to form a goggle's head of gyrating tails, ready to turn a stag's heart to stone at a single glance. Each dog has a pedigree that would fill a ring with paper, as have their masters boasting generations of good breeding. Family trees with branches laden with the names of past landed yeah. gentry. Their greatest contribution to the land being when they fell in their own years, providing the earth with the same humus as their mongrel serfs. But these that are currently at the apex, clad in red to match their ruddy complexions, which only the liver would disclose, whether from action of the wind or reaction to the wine, these who satisfy their bloodlust on creatures who only recognize such drive in quest for food, epitomize all that is base in man. That they are an anachronism is of no doubt, a desperate clinging to feudal systems when their families oppressed whole communities. Today they have to be content, mortally oppressing a single creature, like well-fed cats clawing at a mouse, until their instinct, not their hunger, is satisfied, then leaving it to decompose, a symbol of the confused mind that is so lethal.
bells tolled. They told of you and they told for you. They told of your mournful submission to the lower instincts and their needs. And they told for your lack of compassion. But this is not necessary. Use these instincts. Do not be used by them. Take them to a higher pitch and you'll find they sparkle with freshness. They have only to be adapted and they become creativity. Paradoxically. Or take them lower than conscious emotions and explore the cavernous depths that resound with infinite knowledge and bubble with ceaseless activity. But be careful. If you cannot understand what you find and have gone too far to go back to simply taking it for granted, then you may disbelieve it, which will cause a feedback and negative thought, which as it increases, decreases your acceptance of existence, and your mind may race, and the hunter of knowledge is chased by an awesome power which is himself.